Austin police are still trying to figure out who killed three people in Austin recently. Detectives are having trouble pinpointing suspects because of the nature of the crimes. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell is live in South Austin with why detectives are struggling so much and what they need. Jackie. Sydney, Robert, police tell me that all three of the city's most recent homicide cases centered around drugs. Now, one of them happened here at these apartments off of Turtle Creek Boulevard. Like police, we've been out here trying to talk to victims, witnesses, anyone who might know something about what happened. But police say that's the hard part about drug-related cases. It's hard to get people to say anything that they know. I mean, drug transactions and, and these sorts of things, they're done in secret. I mean, you're not telling all your buddies and friends that you're going to go out and purchase drugs or you're, that you're going out to rob someone. Homicide Sergeant Eric De La Santo says even when people do know what happened, fear stops them from reporting the crime. Because they're afraid, well, if I say something, then the police are going to arrest me for being involved in drugs. Well, that, that's not our focus. Right now, detectives are trying to come up with a suspect who they'll charge with killing a baby. It started as a home invasion call, someone robbing people in an apartment known to have drugs. Learning a pregnant woman was shot, people who live here say they won't rest easy until the person responsible is caught. This, this happened in a residential apartment complex, man. You know, this is people's homes. People come here, they get off of work, you know, their kids live here, you know. And for a pregnant woman to get shot, man, that's, that's ridiculous. Austin detectives are also investigating a shooting in southeast Austin last Tuesday that involved marijuana and left one man dead. And they're trying to figure out who killed a man found with deadly injuries in his East Riverside apartment Friday. They believe that victim was selling weed. We don't care that you're selling the drugs in these murders. We're interested in solving these murders. But Sergeant De Los Santos says that won't happen without cooperation from people who know the victims and the suspects. Now, in two of those cases, detectives are working on some leads, but to be clear, they do not have firm ideas of who the suspects are in any of those three most recent homicide cases. Sydney? And Jackie, when I heard about this, it made me think of that report that you did uh, earlier this month about uh, murders involving drugs with Austin police, that they've got that common thread oftentimes, right? They do, Sydney. Homicide detectives at APD told me that most of the homicide cases that they work are drug related. And to top that off, most of those cases they tell me involve marijuana, where someone is robbing someone of marijuana to just turn around and sell it. They say it happens far more often with weed than with other harder drugs. Back All to right. you. Jacqueline, thank you so much.